check the information as to what crystals you got and how to get how to get them like the challenge one is revealed here for example and you can also see a global leaderboard now the global leaderboard updates itself basically on a very regular basis depending on how many people are playing so as you can see here in 5 minutes and 18 seconds we did not do too well we know what you did Ralphus you and your filthy charge Come to our chambers. We need to talk. And so what will eventually happen is, at least in the single player campaign, you'll do you'll do the majority of these trials and then the boss trial will become available. The boss trial is obviously the hardest trial of them all. It will challenge you the most out of all the other challenges. And by all means, the challenge is actually one of the hardest ones to get. Should I show you the boss? Go on, we'll show you the boss. Why not? The Warlock. Now, what should we go with? Should we go with my trusty bow and arrow? Or should we switch out? I might just switch out to the Jewel Blades. Because I haven't give the, given these guys in my general playthrough enough love, I think. Whoop. Whoop. Okay, so we have Strafe, which is a power kick. Or power kick. <laughs> Dash forward, avoiding harm and slicing all enemies in the path. I think those two names are mixed up. Yeah, I think those two names are actually mixed up. I think that's a problem in the actual game itself. That's a shame. Uh, healing blast. Just heals people. Spirit surge. Fly to target location. Enemies hit on the way are stunned. Bang bad. Bang bad. Okay, I'm going to put this on my right click and this on my Q. Then as for passives, see what we have. Sucker Punch. Attacks against unmarked targets deal 10 additional damage. Doesn't look too bad. Basic attack hit, increased attack speed. This can happen up to 5 times, resulting in 3 additional attacks per turn. That's pretty cool. And rip them apart. If enemy target has 5 marks, you deal 2 damage. We can do this. Let's do that. Okay. Come on, Balthus. Let's take on the boss. As you can see in this case, there's no... There's still a time to beat. We don't know what the challenge is yet. And the trial is just simple. It's a warlock. Let's see what we have to do against this boss, shall we? I'll show you this and then I'll cut the video. Because this is a, a good look into the game. You killed the chamber guardian? Balthus, we must admit... We didn't think you'd have that in you. Tell us, did you do it for your charge? For vengeance? Or maybe for satisfaction? Uh oh. Oh, wow. Since it was a gladiator himself. Not unlike you. Too much has changed since then. So as you can see, all the main enemies, and including Balthus, are all voice acted. The voice acting is really well, really well done. The only criticism I had in my review was that it targeted it targets itself to you, there being more than one of you. Oh my God, Balthus! Stop blowing up! Come on, I wanna. Come on, I want to hit you. Oh god, Balthus is going nuts. Oh, heck. This is actually really hard because Balthus just seems to self destruct whenever he feels like it. Let's see if I can't hit the boss a few more times. There you go. Oh. Kickback! Come on. Bloody hell! Balthus, what is wrong with you, mate? Right, as you can see here, the Dual Blades is best off when it comes to very fast and fluent attacks. You can see why the Dual Blader is especially best when it Stay comes away to... When he uses his curses on me. Oh god. Yeah, Bal uh, you can see the Dual Blades is especially best when it comes to fighting with single enemies rather than groups.
Uh, Balthus. Does it actually hurt him? Oh, that hurts him. That hurts him a lot. A simple spell for the likes of me. Whoa. I know all of your Oh! <laughs> I taught them. I didn't no. see! I didn't see! <laughs> oh. you know that, well, that was my fault. That was really my bad. So as you can see now, there are now timers scattered around the place. These timers are spawners. If you don't take them out fast enough, they just keep spawning enemies. Ah! Balthus! Oh, damn it! Oh. <laughs> this is not easy. This is not. I'll give it one more try. One more try. See, as you can see, this is the only floor that I have with dual blades. You killed the chamber guardian, Balthus. We must admit. I'll skip these because we've already seen them. Oh, oh, oh. There you go. New smart, since it was a gladiator himself. Not unlike you. Too much has changed since then. Why we need to be careful. Stay clear. Take our time. All that jazz. Have a look at things. That ability that I put on my right click is actually targeting multiple opponents instead of just one, so that's really good. Oh god. Balfour's explosion! His curse is on me. Oh, that doesn't actually affect him. Ooh, okay. Okay, let's deal with these guys. So Just gonna have to a focus. Let's do this. There are some areas in the game that will. Well, I say some areas. There are some things you can use in the level itself to help you take out enemies and to make sure that you don't get overrun like I did last time. <laughs> like, for example, I didn't even notice these spawners were. Present while I was fighting the boss. Ow, that hurts. So now it's a much better bet to just focus on all out damage. See if I can't get rid of that statue on him here. Nice. The trick to this game, as well, is because it's so challenging, you have to keep your eyes on everything, not just one thing. Balthus! Good man. Uh oh. I know all of your tricks. I taught them. No. <laughs> you know nothing. Well, I've got to get rid of these spawners before they start generating some serious enemies. Ah, oh, damn. Oh no, that was my bad. That was completely my bad. That was really, really bad of me. Oh no! No! Balthus! Balthus, get rid of that spawner, good man. Oh no, 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 get away from me! Oh, nicely done. This is actually really tough. Ah, Balthus. Oh, he's got some new attacks. New deadly, deadly attacks. Come on, come I on. Failed you as a trainer, Sarge. Forgive me. You have always been weak, Balthus. Balthus. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> it's really quite tough when it gets to certain challenges, but it's so fun <laughs> because every time you are defeated, you do have a chance of. Retrying it, changing your skills, or going back to the Hall of Trials and picking a different weapon to suit the situation, which I might just have to do off screen. <laughs> With that, ladies and gentlemen, that is the preview of Forced. I hope you have enjoyed it, and I hope you've. I hope you actually like what Forced is all about. Now, as you can see, you can do co op play with your friends or with random people in the campaign or on survival mode. Survival mode is actually really, really tough, and it's a really fun experience with your friends as well. 
possibly we'll possibly be doing a one-off of that at some point on the actual YouTube channel if you're watching on the YouTube channel or for the site if you're watching this on the site. So keep your eyes out for that if you want to see some more Force gameplay. But this is definitely a game to look out for. I heavily suggest checking out my review. That will be in the description below. And of course, if you have any questions about Force whatsoever that I did not address in this preview or didn't address in the review, be sure to leave a comment in the comment below. Or comment section below, should I say. And we'll see what I can do. And also let us know if you have played Forced, what you think about it as well. So until next time guys, I hope you have enjoyed Forced. If you haven't got the game, I would definitely suggest trying it out. Grab a few of your friends, play this game, try it out for yourself, and I swear to god, you'll love it. You'll just love it. The Beta Dwarf guys have done a fantastic job on their first game, and this, this is just a fantastic job. Indeed. So until next time guys, I am Dummy Expert of Calls from VideoGamesUncovered.com and I'll be seeing you on the other side.